one of the most difficult things to remember is which CD4 count what opportunistic infection occurs. And it comes almost in every single NEET PG exam. The question will be something like this. Okay, so you're going to see a 45 year old gentleman. He's on antiretroviral therapy. He comes with cough or some other symptom. And then you, you see that CD4 count is mentioned. Okay, so once you see the CD4 count, there's a definitive set of diseases you will have to mention for it. Okay, now before I go into how to solve this question, if you want the notes that has been made for this topic, follow me and then comment as notes in the comment section and I'm going to send it to your DM. Okay, so first remember, divide the CD4 counts into less than 100, less than 150 and less than 200. Okay, now less than 100, remember the mnemonic 5 C's. Which are the five C's? Cerebral toxoplasmosis, cryptococcal meningitis, cryptosporidiosis, cytomegalovirus, and fifth C is a complex, which is that mycobacterium avium complex. Okay. Now, if the question says CD4 is less than 150, then the answer is histoplasma. Like in this question, CD4 is mentioned less than 150. So, your answer directly go to histoplasma. Now, third is if the CD4 count is less than 200, then your diagnosis will be between these four things. Remember the mnemonic CHIP, okay? C-H-I-P. C stands for candidiasis, which is esophageal. H stands for herpes simplex. I stands for isospora. And P stands for pneumocystis gerovaceae, okay? So, this is how you can easily remember this. Now, don't forget to follow me because I am going to show you how to get your MD seat.